right, time for round one. We've run the die roll. Let's see what we get. We're going to play first, of course. We've got an Impact Tremors, uh, another Impact Tremors, a uh, two-drop, almost a dash. Yeah, I'll keep it. Why not? Let's see what Impact Tremors can do. Let's see what Impact Tremors can do. Ideally, he doesn't establish his board too quickly, so we can establish the tremors. Swamp and pass the turn. Tap land, that's going to help. That's going to help. A land's going to help. Let's go impact tremors. Pass the turn. He takes a bit of time probably to read Impact Tremors just to remind himself what it does. Come on, no two drop. Dragon Lord Servant. That's fine. I'll take a turn off to drop another Impact Tremors. <laughs> Why not? There we go. There's two down. Let's start having some fun. Yeah, I'll take one. Why not? Ooh, no three drop. All right, so Salta Emissary. And we're going to need to auto yield to Impact Tremors. Two damage off of Salta Emissary? Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. Could dash in Coligan's Forerunners for two next turn, just because. If he wants to trade or kill off the Salty Emissary, I'd be fine with that. He'd take another two, and I'd get a Manifest creature. Oh, Diplomacy of the Wastes. Uh, Non-land card. Oh, he's going to take my Coligan Forerunners. I need those for dashing. I need those for dashing. Maybe he takes the Hooded Assassin. Who knows? It would be the very wrong choice, but you never know. Yeah, he takes the Forerunners. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, all right. Yeah, declare that attack. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, draw a swamp. That's gross. Um, well, I guess I'll get in for one. Or two. I'll get in for two. Totally fine with that. Salt tie emissary, get a manifest, ping him for two. Drop a hooded assassin. Kill off the dragon lord dude. Plus uh ping him for another two. What was our manifest? A mountain. Cool. Well we got a mountain off the top. It would have been bad to flood out. Well, double impact tremor is not doing too bad. But we're going to need to start drawing some gas pretty soon. Oh, ouch. Pyrotechnicked. Oh, come on. I kept a two lander. Eight lands. I kept a two lander and eight lands have already been seen. So, oh, variants. Our opponent's hitting lands pretty regularly, too. Do they have stuff to back it up, though? Shadow Spear, sure. That's fine. We'll take two. Totally take two. Anything else? He's going to anticipate. Sure thing. Don't you dare be a land on top of my library. I will be upset. Do you have a two drop? No, he does not. Come on, not a land. A <laughs> Warbringer. That's fun. Uh, yeah, let's dash him out. Get in for... 
five total. Take him to ten. Swing on in. So that's fun. That is fun. Wouldn't mind another dash creature being on top. Another dash creature would be like a three turn clock. Assuming that he plays blockers. If he doesn't play blockers, then we've got him on a two turn clock just with Warbringer. Shadow Spear played out. All right. So he really wants a blocker, basically. On top is, of course, a mountain. Uh, so we'll dash in the Warbringer, hit him for two. And we'll test out if he has a trick or not. Could have a whisk away, but that wouldn't be that bad. No, he's just going to take the three, and it's going to come back to my hand. All right. All right, all right. We may tremor him away. Just passes the turn. I wonder if he's flooding out or if he's off a of color, maybe. But he's got a lot. Ooh, Colgan Forerunners. Uh, yeah, so we'll dash him in. Double Impact Tremor. We'll dash him in. Double Impact Tremor. Take him to one and swing in with two attacks. Did we get there? Okay, he's going to coat with Venom. That's not going to win. Coat with Venom and Whisk away? Nope, just coat with Venom. Awesome, and <laughs> there's our third Impact Tremors. That was really fun. Uh, <laughs> double Impact Tremors, really, 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 really good with Dash, apparently. Uh, so I don't know what our opponent's doing. Um, I don't know if they were off a of color. If maybe they had just a lot of double red and double black in their hand or what was going on. Um, I don't think I want to make any modifications to the deck just yet. So let's jump right back in. <laughs> so uh, how good is two impact tremors and nothing? It's game two. I won game one. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's the last draft. I'll do some really wonky stuff why not black red is our opponent just five colors could be uh hooded assassin all right not the best but all right black red blue two drop of palace familiar sure thing Ugh! do not flood out on me deck do not flood out on me Do not flood out on me. Uh, updraft elemental, sure thing. Gorse wine, cool. Uh, but we're gonna get another impact tremors down. Double impact tremors, so much fun. So I guess we'll go hooded assassin. Although I can't block flyers. I can't do anything against those flyers. I may just die from them. Coligan Aspirant. Yeah, we're going to do Hooded Assassin. I will take the two. Oh, don't flood out on me deck. Double impact tremors and Hooded Assassin as a 1-1. One, one. So I can block the Aspirant at least. I'll or actually trade with the Aspirant. Um... Yeah, I need Douse and Gloom. I need removal for the Flyers. It was a risky keep. I knew that. <laughs> I, I totally knew that. Um, I didn't expect to flood out, though. Uh, yeah, I need to slow this clock down, so let's block the Aspirant. Take the one. And then trade. Oh, Kindled Fury. 
I see that played so rarely that I just never expect it. Oh, for, well, I was going to say further establishing the board, but not really. Come on, deck. Come on. This is just dumb. All right, so I can't block anything, and I can't attack with the gore swine. So I'm going to take four. Go to 11. Gonna go to 11. Not good. Our opponent's stuck on land, too. Come on! This is dumb. <coughs> so I think we're just gonna die here. Our deck is just not letting us play. Take four, go to six, or seven rather. Draw a hardened berserker. Yay, it'll make my spells cheaper. Well, at least it can block the aspirant, I suppose. So I'm down to a four-turn clock as opposed to a two-turn clock. Let's hope he just draws nothing. That would be good, right? So what is he? He's blue-red, maybe? Splashing black? It's gotta, blue, gotta be blue-red, splashing black. In with everything. All right. So he's got coat with venom, I assume. Does this do one damage to each blocking creature? Yep. Yes, it does. In he comes. We block the aspirant. Show me the coat with venom. <laughs> or the glint. Show me the glint. That's a common card you see played a lot. Draconic Roar. That might help. That might help. Um, yeah, let's pass the turn. So I guess we Draconic Roar the Aspirant, and we take two. Oh, we're just dead. So dead. Mardu Shadow Spear. Ugh, oh, gross. Diplomacy of the Waste. Well, we're going to kill off the Aspirant. Block and kill the Shadow Spear. Take three, go to two, and uh, somehow get an answer. Somehow get an answer. There's my mountain. Enjoy my mountain. Oh, it's a warrior? Come on. This game's dumb. <laughs> oh, this game's dumb. All right. Come in. Yeah, I'll just concede because you've got it. That sucked. That sucked an awful lot. What was on top? Tail slash tremors. Answers were coming, but wow, that was awful. So can I do anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. We just need to not keep such dumb hands. That was risky. I knew it. Uh, we're going to play first, and what do we get? We get... Uh, oh. 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 Oh, come on. I have a Draconic Roar. <sighs> Last time I kept two, I drew a hell of a lot of lands. Last game, I drew a hell of a lot of lands. Oh, I should not keep this, but I'm gonna. Oh, it sucks. All right, Mountain, and uh, let's hope. Let's hope. Don't you dare play one drop. Good stuff. There we go. Hope worked out. Hope worked out. Um, we don't have any tremors, so I think I might just play that skirmisher. Just play him down. Maybe dash out the forerunners next turn. Palace familiar. Ooh, Warbringer. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Dash out the imp or dash out the forerunners? They both do two. 
They both do two. Or just cast the imp. Choices. Many choices. Um, yeah, let's just cast the imp. Let's just flood the board. Don't need to be the dash deck just yet. I accidentally auto yield there, but luckily I had time. Uh, I'll get in for two if he wants to draw a card. I'm fine with that. Protecting the palace familiar. Strange choice. Well, he's stuck on blue for the moment. Stuck on blue. Gets himself a morph. We may have to kill that. May have to kill that. Gets in for one. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just douse and gloom it. What is it? Was it good? It was a good dual lurker. It was okay, I guess. Well, let's get in for four. Being aggressive. I'd love to draw another mountain. I could dash the Warbringer and the Forerunners. That would be good. So, of course, I draw a Swamp instead. Actually, that works too, doesn't it? Yeah, that works too. Uh, cast with Dash. Or I could do Vault Breaker. 4-3 or 4-2. Oh, this one's got Trample. So let's dash it out as well. <laughs> That's a board. That is a board. In for 11. <laughs> Glint. All right. You get to stop some damage. Good job. Good job. Um, I don't know what that plan was, but it didn't help him out that much. So, pretty commanding spot. He's got to play a number of blockers. He does not. He plays a tap land and passes the turn. So, yeah, things... Oh, we get another mountain. So, dash Warbringer out. Dash him out for one. Dash Vault Breaker out for one. And uh, attack in for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Swing in for 16. And he good games. Uh, no, I'm not going to do Vault Breaker. I'm just going to do 16 damage and take that game down. All right. Uh, Impact Tremors slash Dash deck worked out pretty darn good. Uh, so we're 1-0 going into round two, and I'll see you guys for round two.